how damaging are these allegations and what do we know at this point? Well, essentially, you know, a few months ago, we thought this was all over. Uh, Toyota chairman Akio Toyota, you know, held a press conference saying, you know, the company was going to go back to basics and really take a, a, a look and, and, and write itself. And then just a few months later, we've got uh, sort of a widening scandal. Now, in terms of the shares, we haven't really seen a huge reaction. Honda does seem to be the worst hit, as you mentioned. Toyota is down, you know, right around 1, 1.4%. Um, but uh, obviously, uh, what's going to happen now is this raid, uh, both at Toyota's headquarters and uh, Mazda and Honda as well. And, you know, that's also a perception problem that they're going to have to deal with. Now, the issue here, of course, is certification. So we're not talking about actual defects or something that's going to lead to a recall. Um, and to a certain extent, you might even also uh, ask the question, you know, are the standards too high because the cars are safely on the roads? But it, it's essentially a, a perception problem and something that at this point, we don't know how much further it's going to go. We thought it was over. And now we're still seeing this kind of news trickle out. Yeah, so in terms of reputational damage, Reid, can it be contained at this point? That's hard to say. Uh, we thought it was contained a few months ago, but now we're back here talking about this. Um, at this point, um, I would guess, uh, don't be surprised if you see more news like this, which is going to kind of cast a negative sentiment over the automakers and potentially their, their stock. Um, but also, you know, investors have uh, been bidding up Toyota shares you know, quite significantly this year, uh, mainly because the cars are selling well. Most of the cars are selling well. And in fact, uh, this is more of a sort of a, a Japanese certification issue specific to the market here, as opposed to the actual safety of the vehicles, actually 11 million sold by Toyota alone last year uh, on the roads. So, Reid, what are the implications then for the broader industry, whether it's for automakers or suppliers, but at the same time, perhaps the certification process in itself? Well, the uh, implication, especially for the suppliers, is that as uh, Toyota and others are, are ordered to halt some of their production lines, you know, there is going to be an impact on the suppliers because they're not going to get paid while production is halted. In fact, Mazda's CEO, uh, Mr. Moro, uh, said yesterday that they would cover those costs for the suppliers and at least uh, keep them sort of insulated against some of these issues. And I wouldn't be surprised if Toyota took some similar measures to keep their uh, supplier network uh, kind of going along. In fact, they've done this before, and it's critical uh, once they get back on track and, you know, keep, try to keep production going at similar levels.